Hi and welcome to A World of Words. I'm Vanessa and today I'm doing an if you like this, you might like this recommendations video. So I really love these kind of videos where someone compares a really popular book that a lot of people have probably read to a lesser known book that has some sort of similarities to it that might get you to be interested in the lesser known book. That way you can find new books to read and enjoy. And I have actually found a lot of books that I really loved through these kinds of videos. And I finally came up with enough books that I realized are actually pretty similar to some really popular favorites of mine that I thought I would recommend. Some of these lesser known books have been mentioned briefly in like book hauls and things back when they were coming out, but I haven't really heard anybody who's actually read them talking about them and recommending them. And these are all really good books, so I thought I would spread the word and hopefully this will get some people interested in these other books as well. So if you like the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare, you will probably also enjoy the Kingdom on Fire series by Jessica Cluis. This book also takes place in about the same time period and in London as well. It's also about a girl who discovers she has these powers. While well, this world, war and the magical people and everything, they're not hidden. They're actually well known in society. Some are liked, some are hated. But it also has a fun cast of characters. It even has someone named Magnus in it. And it's got a kind of similar vibe to it as she has to learn about her powers and kind of what she is. She doesn't really know exactly what she is. She just knows she's something. There's also a love triangle and this book ends up having like a love square or something. It gets a little ridiculous, but it's still super fun. I have read the entire trilogy. The entire trilogy is very good. It also kind of has a, a slightly heartbreaking ending uh, because it is also about fighting a war against evil and all that good stuff. Hopefully it did it justice because you're also fighting like demons and stuff in this. So I think if you like the Infernal Devices, you should definitely check out A Shadow Bright and Burning and the rest of the trilogy. Now, if you like the Six of Crows series, or the Grisha universe in general by Lee Bardugo, you might want to check out The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye. Both of these take place in a fantasy version of Russia because it takes place in actual Russia, but there's a magical element to it, whereas this is like a fantasy version of Russia. They both have multiple points of views, characters that are very interesting and very likable. As far as plots go, they're pretty different. This one is a fantasy heist thing with point of views where you go deep into each character's backstory. This one you don't go so much into character's backstory, but it's about a competition between enchanters. Two people are potentially the one enchanter that is supposed to protect the Russian Tsar. They have to like prove that their magic is better than the other one, so it's a magical competition that like takes place throughout the city. It only follows three main points of view, but I like the characters a lot. There's also a lot of like romance and fun stuff there, and it's just really good. This is a duology. Both books are excellent. And yeah, I think if you are interested in like the fantasy Russia element, you should give this one a shot. So this next one is the most of a stretch of all of them, but I thought I would include it because if you like Cinder by Marissa Meyer, which is a fairy tale retelling, chances are you were interested in the idea because you are interested in fairy tale retellings. Now this is a sci-fi retelling, but The Forbidden Wish by Jessica Curry is a, did I say sci-fi fantasy retelling? or sci-fi fairy tale retelling. So this is a YA fantasy retelling of Aladdin from the perspective of the genie, where the genie is a teenage girl, and she has to protect Aladdin's character, and it's just a really good <laughs> book with a very interesting magic system and very good writing. The magic in this is so creative and so interesting. It also completely brings like the world to life in a new way. So I think if you're looking for more fairy tale retellings, even though this one is not sci-fi, 
chances are, like, this is a very light sci-fi, so you might also be a fantasy reader as well. And if you like Disney and you want something vaguely related to Disney, <laughs> Aladdin. Next, we're going from a YA book to an adult series. So if you are a fan of The Mediator by May Cabot, which is about a girl who can uh, talk to ghosts and help the ghosts pass on to the next life, and she also has a forbidden romance with a ghost, a paranormal person who is not, she's not supposed to fall in love with. You might like The First Grave on the Right by Rinda Jones, which I read pretty recently. This one is about a woman who is the Grim Reaper, and so she can see ghosts and it's her job to pass them on to the other side. Similar to The Radiator, it also has a very fun, very, very funny narrator. This is a hilarious book. And she also has a paranormal love interest who she's not supposed to like, but she ends up liking anyway. It's just mostly the narration style and the whole concept of the fact that she sees ghosts all the time and like can talk to them, but no one else can see them. So they kind of sometimes think she's crazy and some people know about it. Other people don't know about it, and some have kind of heard rumors about her. She doesn't keep it quite as on the DL as uh, Suze does, but it's pretty funny and entertaining. Though this is an adult series, there is adult mature content in it. I'm just going to put that out there for anybody who's younger. It, it does focus on some mature themes. But anyway, they both have very similar tones, and I think if you like this one, you might want to give this one a shot if you haven't heard of it. Now for the next comparison, I feel like both of these books are a little bit on the same level as far as how well known they are. So I'm not sure which one is like, if you like this one, then you should read this one. Because I think they're both kind of in that a lot of people have heard of them, but they're not like as insanely popular as The Mortal Instruments or Cinder or Six of Crows. But if you like Caraval, you will probably also enjoy Furthermore. I feel like either way, you may as well give, pick it up and give it a shot because it's not so much the plot, even though the plot does involve a, a young girl who ends up in a magical situation. Pretty much all they have in common. But what I think you would like is the descriptions and the, the way it's written, the whimsical aspect in general. I think that if you like Furthermore, you will definitely enjoy Caraval because it also has that same kind of whimsical aspect of it. Caraval is quite a bit darker, I think, than Furthermore. It's not really that dark, it's just darker. And they both have like really interesting, unique descriptions of the magic. And I think if you like the magic in either one, you should give the other a shot. This one's like a crazy, whimsical, adventure in a magical land that has all these rules that just don't make sense and it's a lot more lighthearted and a bit more fun except for this except for this one part where she turns to paper and like loses a limb that was kind of upsetting um and then it was not painted as a big deal but I was kind of upset by that but aside from that it's a lot more lighthearted than Caraval. But Carmel is also very good, and I really love the descriptions in it. Both of these I find inspirational in their descriptions. And I think if you enjoy one and you haven't tried the other one, you should give it a shot because you will probably enjoy the whimsical aspect of the other book. So that was it. That was my If You Like This, You Might Like That video. I hope you enjoyed. I was really happy I was able to come up with five, and if I come up with any more, I will make another one of these videos. If you have any recommendations on less popular series that are like super easily comparable to a really, really insanely popular series, please leave them in the description. I would love to hear about it. If you have done a similar video like this on your channel with different books, maybe, uh, let me know because that would be super cool to find out even more recommendations. I know that I first found out about Ruby Red because Sasha Allsberg from A Book Utopia compared it to Clockwork Angel and I was so happy to find this book. I love it so much. So I wanted to do the same for someone else and maybe recommend some of these other series because I think that people could really enjoy them and I think they deserve a lot more attention than they are getting right now. So thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye!